Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes in solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work it out on your own, and then unpause it we will look at our answers together. So it says that Dominique put figures into groups based on certain attributes. So that's going to be a key word for us. Sometimes she put figures into more than one group. So you see we've got this word repeated down here again. So attributes are descriptions. So let's put the word description here. They are descriptions of certain shapes that are true for them. So we've got three groups. We've got group one, we've got group two, and we've got group three. So we have to know what this word means, congruent. So congruent means same size and same shape. So basically they're exact copies of each other. So if you have two um, triangles that are congruent, they need to look exactly the same. Think of when you are doing something on the computer or maybe on your phone and you copy and paste. When you copy and paste, both items that you copy and pasted are going to be congruent unless you start editing one of them with the exact same. Group two has exactly four sides. That's pretty, uh, pretty easy. And this four sides means we're going to have a 2D shape because sides are what we have on two-dimensional flat shapes. And then we need to know what a polygon is. So a polygon is kind of a big, big term. Polygons have two characteristics or two attributes. They are all closed and they all have straight sides. So we see a lot about sides here. All the sides have to be the same size. It has to have four sides and they have to be straight sides. So a polygon would be like a square and a triangle because they're straight. So a circle is not a polygon because it is not straight. This is not a polygon because it does not have a closed third side. So it's kind of like a triangle, but not quite. So now we know what all of our terms mean. Let's look at our answers. Which statement is true? So three of these are going to be false. A square could be put into all groups. So let me draw a square as good as I can here. All right, so a square. Now let's pretend that's straight. Does a square have all sides congruent or all sides the exact same size? Yes. So I'm going to put a group one. Check. Does it have exactly four sides? Yes, that's what makes it square. Is it a polygon? Is it closed and straight? Yes. So you know what? I think, I think this one might be your answer. Let's check. A triangle could be put into all three groups. Well, I could draw triangles that aren't congruent, but let's just say I drew my congruent. This is an equilateral triangle, so yes. But look, does it have exactly four sides? No, a triangle has three sides. It is a polygon, so this is not going to work. A rectangle could be put into groups one and two only. So let me put this right here as my rectangle. So my rectangle, uh, does it have all four sides congruent? No. It's got two long sides, two short sides. That's the difference between a square and a rectangle. So that's not going to work already. It does have exactly four sides, but it says only one and two, but guess what? It also works for three because it's also polygon. So this answer is just not working. And then a pentagon could be put into group one only. So here's a pentagon. Think of like a home base if you play baseball. It's got five sides. So, has four congruent, all sides are congruent. Well, you can draw a regular pentagon. I didn't quite draw one, but you can make one with all four equal sides. This bottom side is a little bit too long. Has exactly four sides. No, which is good because it doesn't say group two. But then look at this. Is a polygon. It is a polygon. So our answer is going to be A. A square could be put into all the groups.